What is going on guys, Skyrocket here. Today I'm coming at you with another Hurt World video, but instead of doing a little general gameplay, I'm going to make a guide on what to do when you're starting off in the game. Hurt World, it drops you in the world with really nothing on you, and it leaves you to just pick up logs and stones that are laying on the ground. And with those logs and stones, you can make stuff like spears, hatchets, fire pits, and other stuff of the sorts to help you survive the day or the night, depending on what you're really starting in. Once you've gathered enough resources off of the ground, what you're going to want to do to start off is make yourself a hatchet. A hatchet in this game is an extremely versatile tool that allows you to pick up other resource nodes that are laying on the ground, such as fallen woods or trees, and I'll show those a little bit later in the video. You can craft hatchet with 5 wood and 5 flint, and it can all be done with your hand crafting menu that you start off with without having to use a crafting bench. Now with your hatchet in hand, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set out to find some resource nodes, like I said, like fallen trees. They can provide a very stable resource of wood because they give you a lot more wood and a lot faster than by just picking it up off the ground. This right here is a resource node. It is the fallen tree node. What it does is it gives you wood whenever you break it down and it gives you a lot more wood than if you were to pick it off the ground, something like that. As you can see, I get a lot of wood, and it also gives you tree bark, which I'm not quite sure has an implementation yet in this game, but if it does, leave a comment. I'd, I'd really like to know if it actually does right now. Once you've collected some more wood and some stone, they're just little stones on the ground, you'll know when you see them, you can make yourself a pickaxe. It makes you able to pick up the rock nodes on the ground that can get you iron, iron ore, flint, and other metals like that. The procedure for collecting the rock nodes off the ground is very similar to your standard tree nodes. You just kind of whack away at them with your pickaxe and it'll just give you the flint. And kind of in the same way, it'll give you a lot more flint than if you were to pick it up off the ground. Now comes the question of, what do I use to defend myself? How am I going to kill someone if they try to kill me? Well, Hurt World has a little bit of everything. There is a very large variety of weapons, well, I wouldn't say large, a fair variety for a game in its alpha state currently, that you can make. One of the most popular beginning weapons is the spear. The spear is crafted using 10 flint and 10 wood. The spear can be a ranged or a melee weapon with two modes. You can press the R key to change it into a mode where you can throw the spear, or you can just left click with it and you'll stab at your opponent. Keep in mind, there is an incentive in this game not to kill your opponents because if if you kill somebody but you and then you die afterwards, you can lose everything in your hotbar because of the fact that this has some sort of an infamy system in it where it gives a player a reason to be friendly, not to kill people, because it'll save your gear when you die. And what that brings me to here is the hunting system in Heart World. It is very, very, very difficult to hunt for animals in the very early stages of this game because all you really have that is useful in hunting is your spear, and keep in mind, you have to arc the spear a ton to hit anything from a range, and half the animals are just going to run away once you get fairly close to them. Although I do recommend pressing C, which makes you crouch, and you can kind of sneak up on it in a way, but still, they'll probably run away half of the time, like you see here. But, if you happen to be lucky and you kill an animal, what you usually get is either leather, animal tendons, or raw steak. These are all very valuable resources because you can use your leather to make yourself clothing, you can use the raw steak for a very good source of food, but it is a bit harder to find, but it will take a lot of your health bar away. And the animal tendons can be turned into string, which you can, you can use to make a bow, which, what, which makes hunting worlds easier. And now, how to deal with people in Heart World? Well, there isn't much really to do, because from what I've found, people don't really want to kill you, surprisingly enough, being in a game like this. As you can see here, I walk up on a group of three guys, I kind of say hello, ask them what's going on, and we both go on our merry way. It's not really difficult thing to do. People are just kind of good people in this game. It's surprising, really. And now we get to the fun part. Nighttime. Nighttime in Hurt World, the monsters or animals don't really change, but the weather and the temperature changes a lot. I, if I could count how many times I've died in this game, probably more than half would be to hyperthermia. Hyperthermia is a pain to deal with and sets in quick. So what you need to do is build a fire. Fire actually requires a fair bit of wood and a fair bit of flint, so keep that in mind. You don't want to be spending all your wood and flint on some weapons that you want for the daytime and then die of hypothermia at night because you forgot to build a fire. 
And a quick tip here, if you're at nighttime, you have a fire, and you see some dude running along telling you he's cold, just let him huddle around your fire. It benefits both you and him, you might make a friend, and the dude doesn't die. Except for this guy right here, he just starts kind of randomly attacking me, and I have to defend myself with my spear here. It actually, he's kind of bad at this, so it's not really hard for me to take him down. And this leads me to kind of the final stages of the early stages of Hurt World is the crafting bench. It requires 20 wood and it enables you to craft some of the more complicated things like guns and ultramonium pickaxes, I think of what they're called. It's one of the first things you'll actually build in this game without having to use a plot pole, which I'll probably get to in a building video. But as you can see here, I'm just crafting some arrows with some animal tendon, like I said before. Having those arrows will actually allow me to make myself a bow and defend myself against people that I want to be like that guy earlier, or just make hunting a bit easier. Anyways guys, we're at the end of the video. I hope you liked it. Be sure to like, rate, subscribe, do all those things you guys do. And as always, come back next time, and thanks for watching.